three nights later, after much rain and storms in Nosop, it was a new Khalakhadi. It was amazing. Flowers opening out of nowhere, green painting the river valley. Although we had not seen herds yet, we realized it was a matter of time. Even though the water receded quickly, there was still a lot of water in the road with large sections just pooled and flooded with water. A lot of times there were side tracks and alternative routes which were still being used, but we could finally travel further north. We arrived at Polenswa and enjoyed time watching passing animals and birds. During winter this year, we will for the first time get to stay at Polenswa and we cannot wait. We leave early as soon as the gates open and take a slow drive to the Polenswa waterhole where there's always something happening. We have sat for hours on end watching the herds of antelope stopping for a drink before continuing on their way. The bird life at Palenzo Waterhall is abundant, so this attracts the black back jackals. We have watched how masterfully the black back jackals are at catching unsuspecting birds at this waterhole. From Palenzo, we head up to Leo's Drive for a jaffle bra and a toilet break. Please remember to take your own new bag. This is a welcome stop for our kids, as they don't often enjoy sitting at the waterholes for too long. Leia's Dry is about 85 kilometers north of Norsop. It is a beautiful drive there and definitely worth doing. Further north than Leia's Dry would be the Leia's Dry Loops and then further up to Union's End, which is the famous border of Namibia, Botswana and South Africa. Layers Dry is such a welcome oasis in the middle of a vast salt pan region. When staying at Norsop, a stop here is a must. After hearing about the severe road damage and corrugations, we decided that it would not be worth the cost of going further. Others had tried and said it was very unpleasant with such bad corrugations. So instead, we slowly meandered back to Noso, enjoying the antelope coming in from the dunes. The oryx is one of the few antelope that can eat the tough desert vegetation, including thorns, without getting injured. What makes them even more adaptable to the desert 
The environment is that they can go without water for long periods of time. Win Kharakhari, a simple stroll to the shop can turn into magic. We saw these beautiful spotted eagle owls in a tree near the shop. This reminds us to always have a camera at hand, even if it is your cell phone. The best camera is the one that you have in your hand. The spotted eagle owls hunt at dusk and night. Their prey include larger insects, small mammals, birds and reptiles, flying insects, bats, shrews, mice, rats, squirrels and mole rats, just to name a few. I was about two meters away from these two eagle owls when I took this video and it really was such a treat to see them put on such a display staring right at me and just looking so majestic. Brys in the Khalakhadi are like a ritual. In summer it is limited by the wind and impending and passing storms. Having sand nearby is important in case the weather turns as it can be very dangerous very quickly. Having such a calm night is spectacular. We love potato bake and have learned to make it on the fire without needing long periods in the oven. A quick tip is to pre-boil the potatoes with the skin on and once it's cooked, peel and slice thinly. Add whatever your preference is in the bake. We usually have bacon, onion and peppers. Layer the pre-cooked ingredients with seasoning and the potato. Usually we use inner parmen's potato spice. Pour over cream, cover with foil and put on the grid. We use the disposable aluminium trays and spray it with spray and cook because we sometimes reuse them and top with cheese. Once it's boiling on the grid, we take off the lid of aluminium so that it can thicken. It should be done quite quickly depending on the size, but it's always better to use smaller quantities. A cast iron pot also works brilliantly too. You will find it very hard not to come across one of these guys in the Khalakhari. They are everywhere. They often make their way under the fences and into camp. Please do not feed them as they can become a problem. Black-backed jackals are known for being very vocal. Their high-pitched wailing calls can be heard often in the early evenings. Jackals are members of the canine family which includes the wolf and the dog. They are fossil deposits which prove that the black-backed jackals are one of the oldest dog species on earth today. Jackals are hunters and scavengers, which hunt smaller mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and scavenge on prey killed by larger animals. It is always mesmerizing coming across these stunning creatures in the park. 
The Basset Foxes are highly social, so be on the lookout for more if one is sighted. They dig dens to raise the young and to provide shelter from extreme temperatures and high winds. Their really large ears assist the fox in hearing insects such as termites and dung beetles moving underground. We had a couple of epic encounters with the snake eagles. We saw both the brown snake eagle as well as the black chested snake eagle. We have often been caught second guessing on some sightings, whether it was a snake eagle or a juvenile basileo. Why? Because they are very, very, very similar unless you do not know the markings. They are absolutely beautiful raptors. Kudus can be found in eastern as well as many countries in southern Africa. Male kudus are predominantly solitary antelope, but do form bachelor groups from time to time. Male kudus have the longest horns of any antelope species, spiraling up to 6 feet. Kudus can jump really high, and they have been known to scale an 8 foot fence.
That afternoon we decided to make bread. We had forgotten our cast iron pot, so I improvised with an oven by using a double roaster and foil tray. Although we always take dough, pre-frozen and make roaster bread, sometimes the ritual of making bread is the reward. This was the standard beer bread recipe and we added frozen corn. We were running low on cheese and could have added that to the bread as well, but we saved it for our jaffles. We slow cooked it on the coals above and below and our makeshift oven worked a treat. Our chicken kebabs remain a favourite and we're really impressed with how well the peppers lasted in the park, even though they were not refrigerated and just loose in a paper bag. The chicken is always pre-cut and marinated and we freeze it in block containers. That just makes packing a lot easier. We were lucky enough to have spotted this cute little guy nearly every day, not always in the same tree. Another example to keep your eyes peeled in camp. The southern white-faced owl is a fairly small owl. It is native to the southern half of Africa. Their diet consists of mainly large insects, but also small mammals, reptiles, other species of birds as well. Next time, in our last leg of Nosop, we see the herds coming in to the Nosop region and we see the beautiful changes in the landscape take form.